So for the Feng Shui, we use the name pipes and we can use it because the allocations are on the same type of pool as the IKEA announcements. Basically, the name pipe allocations are on the non-page pools, same as the IKEA announcements. And it, it is a requirement that the, the object we use are on the same pool as the objects we are trying to replace, as well as the object that we are trying to do the Feng Shui for. And so we can also use the name pipes to control the data when replacing the check before it triggers the use after free. It gives us much more control over the Kenisman fields. Our goal is to replace the Kenisman that has been freed and replace this next MRM fling pointer with a pointer that points somewhere we control or whatever. In this case, all we are interested in is this fling pointer as it allows us to have control to a new fake enlistment with full control of all its fields. But in general, you might have been interested in controlling other fields too, because it will allow to go in another cut path. And so with the name pipe technique, because it corresponds to the data that you write onto the name pipes, we actually control both the data and the size. 